Hi, welcome back guys. Uh, okay, today I'm uh, going to deal with the broken hinge on the armrest. Now, I was going to do one video where I fix the hinge and I retrim the, uh, the vinyl, because this vinyl, as you know, I'm changing the interior to leather and the vinyl's got some pretty rough marks in it. Um, but that's a little more tricky than doing the hinge. And I haven't got round to ordering the uh, leather panel that goes on it. So I decided to deal with the hinge because it's starting to annoy me a bit. So um, <clears throat> first thing I'll do is show you the actual problem. I've got the other camera here. I'll show you the actual problem that uh, we've got with the hinge. One of the lugs has broken off the actual console itself. Um, so the armrest is actually intact um, and it's the console that's actually broken. Now the reason, one of the reasons I'm doing this is to show you it's quite an easy repair but the other thing is if you go on the internet I think the uh, repair kit which basically is a hinge and some pop rivets is around £30 and I just paid £2.50 for a hinge. So let's get on with the job, shall we? Right, so the hinge is held in by this little pin here. And you've got uh, if I hold that up there, you've got eight these little screws around there that hold the inner panel to your outer cover. So we're going to need to take that apart in a little while. But first thing I need to show you is the hinge that you require. And it is quite simply a 63mm butt hinge. <laughs> Simple as that. 63mm. I don't know if you can see that there. I'll get that any closer. There you go. That's a bit blurry. 63mm butt hinge. And that is the hinge. Now, again, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the top half of this hinge is actually shaped a bit where the bottom is flat. So the flat part of the hinge wants to go onto the console itself. Now you can of course take the centre console out and do it if you wish. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to do it in there. Not really a, a, a major problem to do it in there, a little bit more tricky, but that's obviously entirely up to you. So, first thing to do is mark the position the hinge goes on the console because it's got to line up with um, the hinge of the, uh, the, the pin of the hinge needs to be in the same position as where the pin would be on the console, if that makes sense. Okay, so I've used the nail to scribe a line across the front edge of the hinge to get the position on the console. So what I'm going to do now is cut the other lug off the console. Okay, we're ready to start cutting. Yeah, I was just kidding. Didn't you think I was going to use this to cut that off, did you? You never know with me. So as you can see, both the lugs have been removed, and I've got a line scribed there where the hinge is going to go. What I'm going to do is put the hinge back in place and just scribe that line across a bit further. We don't need to do any more on the console at this point. After this, we're going to work on the actual armrest. You have seen me strip this uh, apart in the other video when I was painting the console, uh, either on removing the console or refitting the console. One of those videos does show you how this comes apart. But basically, it's eight screws. They're those little star drive uh, screws. Eight screws and it comes apart. And you're now left with this bit. Now, pay attention. Do not fast forward this bit. This is the important bit. 63 mil but hinge <laughs> and the reason is because if you can see that there 
you've got one, two, three, four, where it goes. And this hinge fits nicely between the outer two. So what it means is once you cut the center out, you can get a perfect alignment on your hinge. What we've got to do now is cut that out. That took all of a couple of seconds to cut those out. Obviously, there and there need cleaning up a little bit with a bit of rubbing down paper or a file, whichever you prefer. Uh, I'm going to use a bit of rubbing down paper because I've got a bit handy. So I'll be back again in two seconds after cleaning that up. Then essentially what you've got to do is either screw or rivet back to the armrest. So this is going to have to be riveted to this panel. Uh, but I'm going to then screw it to the console because I think that's in the long run it's going to be a lot easier to get off. Uh, if you need to take it off in the future. If you rivet it both to the console and to this, it means you've got to drill out rivets if ever you need to take it off. Where if you screw it to that, to the console, if ever you need to remove it in future, it's just three self-tapping screws and it's out. Okay, that's the uh, rivets done on the hinge. Okay. And that's the, 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 this side of the hinge is the one that's got the slight sort of swan neck shape to it this is a side that's flat next step is to screw it to the center console now I'm going to do the center hole first which gives you the opportunity to sort of move the hinge around a bit so I'm just going to go and get a drill bit to use to try and start the holes I'll be back right so as soon as we're drilling into plastic I'm just going to use a four mil wood uh, wood drill wood bit to just like a start, create a starter hole. Just use it with me, with your fingers. To just create a starter hole for the screw. Okay, that's made a mark, so I can now move the armrest out of the way. Big advantage of this is they sell the hinges in pairs. So the other hinge you can put in a bag with some pop rivets and screws and sell it for thirty quid on eBay. Right, the proof of the pudding, let's see if it works. I say, oh boy, <laughs> jolly good. All right, there we go. Right, so I've marked the other two holes. I'm just gonna start the screws and get them so they're in, um, like I did the centre one. Put it all back together. Has that one started? Where's the other screw gone? Ow! You put that there. And that is that one started. So, what I'm going to do now is put this back together, put the eight screws back in it, and then the three screws into the hinge, put it back onto the console. Right, that's all the eight uh, screws back in holding that on. As I say, I am going to order a leather, aftermarket leather cover to go on this with grey stitching in. Um, I've had mixed results with them sort of things in the past. The other thing that crossed my mind while I was putting this back on, as well as just painting the hinge black, you could actually sort of just put a panel across there, or a panel in there, a bit of foam or something in there, foam padding, to hide the hinge, so you can't see the hinge when you open the um, console, um, which will make it look more professional and a bit more that. It depends how much you're concerned about it. I mean, I don't really look at it when I open it, but if you know, you want it to look really, really good, then yeah, you know, fit, fit a piece of bit of piece of, of filling into here, 
to just make it look, if you wanted to be really, really sort of ridiculous, you could put a piece in there with Porsche on it or Boxster uh. on it. You know, a whole lot of things you can do if you really want to. Right, so let's screw it back on. So I'm going to angle you down a bit so you can see that. Yeah, with the with the cover on the armrest, it presses into the carpet quite firmly in the right position, um, which could be what puts stress on the hinge in the first place, on the original plastic hinges. Okay, that's all three screws in. Done. As I say, um, I shall paint that in black later and I may think about putting some covers over it just to make it look that much better. Um, you know, just stick a bit of a bit of velvet or something over that, a bit of velour or something over that just to smart it up a bit. But there you go. Quick, simple and cheap. A lot cheaper than buying the uh, hinge replacement kit which you still have to cut all the bits off and you still got to adjust it to make it fit right so you've got the same problems with adjustment there but £2.50 instead of £30 so you're saving yourself what, £27.50 on doing that and you get two hinges I uh, hope you found that interesting hope it showed you that it's not a difficult job to do if your centre console breaks and it's certainly a lot lot cheaper than buying the actual uh, repair kit off of eBay and you don't know how long they're going to be available on eBay. Um, it's a principle you can use on other centre consoles I should imagine as well not just in these particular cars. So uh, thank you for watching uh, as I say I hope you found it helpful and enjoyable. Um, please subscribe, please click the like button and remember to click the little bell so you get the notifications for all the new videos and I will see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.